Hello students. Now today we will discuss the next uh, important reaction from phenol and the reaction is Rimmer Timan reaction. In Rimmer Timan reaction when phenol is treated with alkaline chloroform followed by acidification so this gives phenolic aldehyde. We may write the reaction in this manner. See, this one is phenol and when it is treated with alkaline chloroform and followed by acidification here phenolic aldehyde is obtained so mainly two hydroxy benzaldehyde or you may call it salicyl aldehyde is obtained as major product although in addition to this salicylaldehyde para product is also obtained this one is 4 hydroxy benzaldehyde but this one is obtained as minor product here salicylaldehyde is obtained as major product here along with this NaCl and water sets free so you may write the reaction in this manner See, remember in this particular reaction phenol. Here, note down one important point here. Here, in this reaction, the carbene, carbene, and the exact name of that carbene is dichloromethylene is formed as intermediate so as a reaction intermediate here a carbene is obtained remember one more important thing here if we replaces or the chloroform by the ccl4 carbon tetrachloride so if ccl4 is taken instead of CHCl3 then then instead of phenolic aldehyde we obtain phenolic acid is obtained see here means if our initial product is phenol and this one is treated with alkaline chloroform and followed by acidification then in this case 
phenolic acid instead of aldehyde phenolic acid is obtained and mainly we obtain here 2 hydroxy benzoic acid is obtained as major product or you may call it salicylic acid this one is obtained as major product in addition to this a small quantity of its para isomer is also obtained means 4 hydroxy benzoic acid is also obtained but as minor product and the NaCl and water sets free. So this one is our Riemer Tiemann reaction. Now here as we know that in both the cases either phenol is treated with alkaline chloroform or phenol is treated with CCl4 in alkaline medium followed by acidification. We usually are um, <coughs> ortho product is obtained as a major product. Now we will discuss why the ortho product is obtained as a major product. So the reason is, note it down first, <coughs> now we are discussing why ortho product is obtained as major product. Remember one rule, there is one rule, detect the stability of any species or any molecule greater will be its tendency to be formed means if any species higher the stability of any species higher will be its tendency to be formed see <coughs> i'm comparing see this one is your or 2 hydroxy benzoic acid and the another product was four hydroxy benzoic acid. See, in this case, the OH group is having electropositive hydrogen and the OH and COH group are lying on to adjacent positions. See here, this oxygen is having partial negative charge because uh, is second most electronegative and uh, here there is the double bond. So, what happens here? the electropositive hydrogen uh, phenolic hydrogen or phenolic group this forms a intermolecular sorry sorry not intermolecular it is intramolecular hydrogen bond with the carbonyl oxygen of the benzoic uh, COH group and this makes the 2 hydroxy benzoic acid more stable and because this 2 hydroxy benzoic acid is comparatively more stable and therefore will form more readily and will form therefore will be formed 
as major product. So this is the one reason why the ortho product dominates over the para one in this particular reaction. Such type of intramolecular hydrogen bonding, see in this case, in this case, uh, no such type of intra intramolecular hydrogen bonding is possible because the OH and COH group are lying on transposition to one another. You may also explain this is the one way to why we are get, to explain why we are getting the ortho isomer as a major product. We may also explain this one on the basis of inductive effect. Say here, this one is the property of the phenol. And you know, in this phenol, the OH group, it is electron releasing group. This one is electron releasing group. So this electron releasing group, as you know, this exerts, exerts plus I effect. Okay, and you also knows better that the I effect this decreases with increase in distance. See, and we know that the dash OH group is ortho para directing see this position 2 4 and 6 these 2 and 6 are ortho while this fourth position it is para now the releasing effect this this one is electron releasing group <coughs> so will increase the electron density at position 2 and 6 at the nearby positions up to the greater extent in comparison to the position 4 and that's why the electrophilic attack will preferably occurs at either position 2 or 6 and therefore and 2 or 6 is identical known as ortho position and that's why the attack electrophilic attack will occur at position uh, at ortho position and ortho product predominates over para 1 is it clear so here Thus, this dash OH group, this increases electron density at ortho position up to greater extent and thus Thus, ortho product predominates. So, I think the reason is clear why only ortho product dominates here in Riemann reaction. Okay. Then now, note it down. Now, we will discuss its mechanism. So this Riemer Timan reaction, it is example of this is this one is example of electrophilic substitution reaction. And you know the electrophilic substitution reaction occurs in two steps in the first step uh, electrophile generates and in the second step that electrophile attacks the ring or attacks the electron cloud so here what happens this NaOH one of the reactant taken this produces Na plus ion and OH minus ion the another reactant it is chloroform in chloroform see 
से नॉर्मली द सी एच बॉन्ड इज टेकन एज अ रेफरेंस बिकॉज दिस सी एच बॉन्ड इज द ओनली बॉन्ड विच इज फॉर्म इन बिटवीन द एटम्स ऑफ टू डिफरेंट एलिमेंट एंड शेयर पेयर आर लाइंग ऑलमोस्ट एट द सेंटर एंड दिस बॉन्ड सी एच बॉन्ड इज सपोज टू बी नॉन पोलर बट वॉट हैपन्स यर एज द कार्बन ऑफ द सी एच बॉन्ड इज लिंक्ड विद द थ्री क्लोरिन एटम्स एंड यू नोज दैट द क्लोरिन इज इलेक्ट्रॉन विड्रॉइंग so due to presence of these three electron withdrawing group over the carbon the ch bond will not remain now non polar means here the shared pair will get displaced towards the carbon and this bond will have now polarity under the influence of the electron withdrawing effect of these three cl now the oh minus which is furnished by the dissociation of the nawh this removes this uh this electropositive hydrogen in the form of h2o means that both the electrons of this ch bond comes over the carbon and you will get here c cl cl and cl the two electrons of this ch bond comes over carbon so as carbon has taken the one electron of hydrogen will become now negatively charged so the na plus here which is still lying in a medium obtained by the dissociation of nawh will remove one of the cl so in this carbon chlorine bond breaking will occur here the cl will come out along with the electron of the carbon in the form of cl minus and sets free in the form of nacl see as the carbon has lost its one electron so it is expected that there must be a positive charge over the carbon but already carbon is having negative charge so it you will get a neutral species here c cl cl and two electrons see this one is a neutral species here this is called this is di chloro methyl this one is example of carbene as you knows what is carbene carbene is having bivalent carbon and having six electrons so this carbon is having two bonds bivalent it is and having two electron plus two four plus two six so bivalent carbon having six electrons is carbene so this one as carbene is formed as intermediate and because here the central carbon of this uh, dichloromethylene is having six valency electron means there's a deficiency of the two electrons and therefore that is still it is electron deficient and therefore this dichloromethylene this acts as electrophile so now your first step is over we obtain the electrophile now this electrophile will attack over the ring here the another reactant taken it was phenol see this is phenol as in medium we are taking alkali nawh nawh is alkali phenol is acidic in nature so the h plus of the phenol sets free with the oh minus of the alkali in the form of h2o and here we obtain sodium phenoxide salt we will get now the sodium phenoxide dissociates produces an a plus ion along with phenoxide ion now this phenoxide ion as you know remains stabilized by the presence of resonance see this one is electron releasing group will release electron pair in the forward direction carbon will become pentavalent 
in order to maintain the tetravalency, these electron of this pi bond will shift it to the next carbon and we will get uh, another resonating structure here. The two electrons come at this carbon, this carbon will become electron rich, will acquire negative charge and here in between the ring and oxygen double bond will form as the two electrons from oxygen are coming in between the carbon and ring. Now over oxygen only two pairs of electron will be left here as like oxygen has donated electron pair so oxygen will acquire expected to acquire positive charge already it is having negative so it means now the oxygen will be neutral again here <coughs> no need to make the further more other resonating structures because in this case also the ortho product is major product and the electrophile has to attack at this ortho position now this phenoxide ion this one these are the phenoxide ion now phenoxide ion will be attacked by the carbene see this is your carbene or dichloromethylene here the carbon central carbon is having six electrons it is a bivalent carbon having six electrons so this species is called carbene now there's the deficiency of the two electrons so the carbon will donate its electron pair to the electron deficient carbon now here there's the double bond between carbon and ox ring and oxygen at this position already there is one hydrogen now the carbon will form bond with the electron deficient carbon of the dichloromethylene this carbon was already having one lone pair and has taken a electron pair from the carbon of the ring so become electron rich and will acquire now negative charge the na plus ion which are furnished by the phenox uh, sodium phenoxide are still in the solution so under the influence of those phenoxide ion here Electromeric effect come into the existence. These pi electrons will shift over the electronegative oxygen, and now oxygen will acquire negative charge. And now the Na plus Na plus will form bond with the electronegative oxygen. See, double bond, double bond. Here single bond will left. Oxygen, this will acquire negative charge. Now, the Na plus, which is lying in a solution, will form bond with this electronegative oxygen. Okay. Now, as the electron pair shifted above, so this carbon, ring carbon, will become positive. So, in order to compensate the deficiency of this electropositive carbon, the electron pair of the CH bond shifted in between these two carbons here double bond will have. and the H plus which will set free from here will combine to the electronegative carbon and you will get this type of a species. The product thus obtained this undergoes hydrolysis process. As you know, hydrolysis always occurs in medium. Here, medium is alkaline. So, during hydrolysis, carbon chlorine bond breaking takes place. Obvious, there's a difference in negativity of the carbon and chlorine. The so bond breaking will be heterolytic. And during bond breaking, chlorine will come out in the form of Cl minus and carbon will become positive charged. Now, as we are breaking during hydrolysis two CCL bonds, so we need here a two molecule of NaOH aqueous is taken. NaOH dissociates Na plus and OH minus. The Na plus comes out with this Cl minus and two NaCl sets free. Now, in order to maintain the tetravalency of the carbon, that is ONA this carbon will form bond with the 2OH. See, remember 2OH groups cannot be accommodated over the same carbon. 
this is due to steric factor so this one if this type of species is obtained so will always be unstable and immediately as soon as such species is obtained it immediately loses a molecule of water so here water molecule sits free now double bond now see carbon and oxygen both has broken one one bond so in order to maintain the tetravalency of carbon and bivalency of oxygen double bond will form here and finally this product when undergoes acidification reaction so during acidification the ona bond breaking occurs and the na plus sets free with the cl minus in the form of nacl and we get our end product salicyl aldehyde or you may call it 2 hydroxy benzaldehyde as end product so this is the mechanism of the reaction